Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. Gonna hit random, and I kinda wanted to play Blue Baby anyway, so you know, that's pretty cool. I'll take that any old day. And immediately we get the item room, which hopefully has the miter in it. That's not quite the miter, and I'm definitely not taking it. Every time I end up taking it, it ends up being annoying for whatever reason. Arcades, this, that, whatever, I'm dumb. Wow, that was not where you were supposed to go. That was weird knockback, and that obviously didn't have to do with shot speed, because I don't have any extra shot speed. That was just weird knockback that I've not really ever encountered. And uh, that's one of those new things in the game that you don't want to find. Like, oh, you find something new every time you play it. I don't want to find it. That was bad. I didn't react soon enough, though. It could have easily been avoided. Shoot the poop. Every, every room. Let's go up here first. Pride. So I don't have the opportunity to go to the secret room through here, but I can go through either of those other two rooms that are around this uh, little inlet. All right, I'll do it, just for you, just for you all. Try it. Don't like it, don't like it. Okay, it worked. Oh yeah, for three free cents. It's better when it's free, that's how things work. Okay, uh, let's hope for something amazing in the boss fight. This would also be a nice boss for uh, Anarchist Cookbook, it would almost definitely one-shot this entire boss. It'd be hard for it not to, I would say, but it's totally possible it wouldn't. You know. Anyway, the whole thing behind Blue Baby is that there are only soul hearts, there are no red hearts. And the glitch where you look like Blue Baby but have red hearts is actually, you're not Blue Baby, so you never have red hearts as Blue Baby ever. Feels good to be able to say that with authority again. Okay, so we get that, we get a Tears Up and a Soul Heart, and that means I'm officially happy. I think we're all good with the things that we have, let's get out of here. I mean, we're not all good, I'd love to have like, 10 health and a bunch of keys by now or something, but that's not what I meant. It's not what I meant. Alright, I can't open that as much as I'd like to, even though I kind of wouldn't. Oh, of course it's Envy. It's always Envy. Envy's the worst. I mean, I guess Super Envy is worse, but relatively, Envy is the worst at the moment. There is no worse room that we could see here besides Super Envy. So relative to all the bad rooms that might be on this particular generation of the floor, this is the worst. And apparently I have, like, no aim. Try and focus it down on uh, all the small ones first. Makes your life as easy as possible. By the way, we do have 5% more damage than Isaac, Maggie, and uh, Samson. So that's nice. And what else do we have? I mean, we have good synergies with like Polaroid and Horror Babylon always. Those are also nice things. You know, I wouldn't have minded the... Uh... Oh no, that's Shoopy Whoop. There were no blue envies. So I could not have gotten, gotten, couldn't have gotten the uh, attack fly. Getting, that's a new one. So I'd love to go to that library and hopefully find the Book of Shadows. Please give me a key. You don't know how much I'd pay you. I'd pay you approximately nothing, and it would be wonderful. I'm gonna use a bomb to go to the secret room. It's enough to go to the shop, too. This is just really making my life tough. I don't know what to do. Okay, so fortunately this didn't generate it in such a way where there were two... Ugh, the library could have the Book of Shadows, which could get me devil deals for free. I'm gonna have to take that chance, honestly. Gonna have to. It didn't. I'm gonna use the Book of Revelations after the boss fight, and I'm not gonna keep it because it's a boring item. But it would definitely help me win, so that's something. Alright, 
I can do this without using the book of, uh, or the anarchist cookbook. Not a problem. Easy fight. Ideally, at least. Okay, I want to kill all of you. I really wanted that Book of Shadows, though. That would have changed my life for the best. Okay, I'm just trying to keep all of the sacks at low health. So I took one hit there. I get Squeezy, which is Tears Up and Two Soul Hearts. That's a wonderful pickup as Blue Baby. And we have Krampus. Okay. I don't have a real problem with Krampus. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> that was just a bad place for them all to go. But I'll just pretend that I paid one heart somehow for a deal with the devil. I mean, Lump of Coal. Good item. Every frame that our tears are on screen, they gain 0.14 damage. Max is at 150 frames, 21 damage. Very, very good. Makes range up that much more valuable. And makes low shot speed more valuable. If you can have as like extra range to make up for the distance that your tears don't travel. So we got our soul heart back. That's uh, excellent news. And uh, sadly, I don't get to go to the item room or the shop, which was a gamble I took, and it didn't pay off at all. Oh well, we we'll just hope it doesn't matter. Keep the anarchist cookbook though. Enjoy it, love it, or something. This is, uh, hopefully gonna make up for all the times that everyone's like, Oh my god, you didn't use that item when you needed to get a tinted rock, and you had low health, and it was a total risk, and it was just, why wouldn't you do that? It makes up for all those kinds of times. And the times when it was safe, too. But, still. Alright. Oop, alright. Oh, I'm getting hit. Uh, what? You saw that that destroyed the rock and didn't hurt me, which was completely... That didn't make sense. The rock was further away from the bomb. Alright, uh, whatever, though. I'm not going to complain about it because it means that I didn't lose a full soul heart and the rock died. Okay, so the way we're going to handle this is we're going to use that. Oh, no, the magnet would have been helpful. That's unfortunate. It's okay. Couldn't really push that though, so I will use one of my bombs. Get the small rock, which is wonderful. That is a damage up, a tears up, and uh, speed down. We do start with higher speed as Blue Baby, so we should be good. We should be totally good. And this extra damage multiplier, or the extra damage from our damage multiplier, is just really nice. Pestilence gets us a cube of meat. It's going to be an orbital that'll block tears and do contact damage to enemies. And stack with other cubes of meat that I hopefully don't run into. So I'll just try and avoid that. I mean, I can't really control whether or not I can avoid it or not, but you know. I'll just hope that it gets avoided for me. Still no keys. And that's okay. I will make something work. Okay, so this wasn't the spawn room, which means that the secret room is not next to that shop of, on the up direction. Okay, I'll play you... Uh, Okay, never mind, I won't play you for three cents, because you'll just give me a soul heart immediately. Whatever, man. Whatever. Can't bomb into that item room, because it's not in a location where that's relevant. That's no good. But we do have really good tiers right now. We're shooting very quickly, and we have a very decent amount of damage. Alright, I'm going to have to do that challenge room... Almost certainly. Okay, so I can't do that challenge room. Okay, so what I'm doing here is making it so that those all blow up at once. And in here we have this, which I'm going to play for keys. You best be believing it. If I just get to go to the item room, that's all I need. That's all I need. But if I don't get to go there, that's two item rooms skipped. One was a conscious decision I made, but the other would not be something that I had control over besides taking the magnet and getting that one key there that I really don't think would have been worth it. Okay, I'm gonna wait on this obviously because uh, even if it's bombs or key I'd rather gamble away for a little while because that'd just be pretty helpful. 
Okay, so plenty of bombs. I'd say I'd hope for bombs are key now. Too bad none of those are soul hearts. Those would be pretty helpful. I will blow it up as well. Before using the pill especially, because then I might not have any bombs. Okay. There's a key. Pretty fly is an orbital fly that'll block tears and damage flies. It'll kill flies. I'm gonna go to the curse room because I'm crazy. Don't do that as blue baby. It's a bad idea. All right. And I'm not gonna use the pill until I've already gone to the item room because if it's telepills, I'm not happy. I'm hoping for balls of steel, of course, but one never knows. Health up. That's all. Tears up. Okay, that's awesome. I don't really have anything left to do on the floor, though. Although the top secret room is really easy to find, so I guess I'll give that two goes, because it only has two actual good locations, and there it is. And it's a bunch of red hearts. Well, never mind me. Let's go to the next floor and see where it takes us. Well, obviously it'll take us to the next floor first shop that has a chance to have greed in it but other than that we should be in pretty good shape I don't even expect to be uh, going to the shop okay I'll certainly play this beggar with my three cent for now and uh, come back later if it doesn't pay out by then I love it I love it when it gives me a key that I need very desperately oh, don't do it again high fire rate and decent damage Range uh, would help us with damage as well, and it would help us with really just kiting enemies and not worrying about things too much, but we're doing well. Of course, with the Book of Revelations, I would be doing better, but again, that's not fun. All right. Instead, here I am with the Anarchist Cookbook using it relatively frequently, I suppose. This is an unfortunate boss to fight. Ah, I thought I'd make it for a second. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna do it. And I didn't do it. Alright, this is a very, very annoying room to have to fight in. Very For a very annoying mini-boss. That's... Uh, okay, good. No tinted rocks or anything in here. Okay. I meant to pick up the key first, I just missed. So away we shall go. Can't do that yet. I want to play it more, but I uh, cannot as of yet. With six bombs and only two keys, I'm definitely going to check for the secret room next to that item room because it's pretty likely. I'd happily use two bombs rather than one of my only two keys. You're a jerk. Okay. All right, let's do it this way. All right, cool. That will definitely handle it. Okay, it's not there. Oh, I have a key. <laughs> Don't have to worry about it then. Abel, definitely skipping that. Familiar mirrors you. Rarely hits things and can be confusing for dodging in some rooms and situations. And it's just bad. It is just bad. <laughs> no, go back in. You want to. I know you want to. All right. I'd love to see more locations where I could trade a bomb for a key. Because, uh, you know, that's pretty helpful when I have six bombs and one key. Just a thought. Of course, I'd also just love to run into more keys on their own with no trade required. But, you know, I'm leaving the options open here because I'd, I'd do things. Wow, I was very, very off timing with that one. This isn't worth using the Anarchist Cookbook because most likely it would just blow up the rocks without making the uh, bridges. But now we're good to do. Another beggar? You gotta be kidding me. I don't think those were close enough, by the way, so I'm gonna use another bomb. Because it should have been there, and it indeed was. 
So I'm definitely going to end up blowing up one of the beggars, and it only makes sense to blow up the one that I haven't played yet. So sorry, but you're getting murdered. Oh, dang it. Accidentally ascent. Book of Shadows, please. Two telepathy for dummies. You're a real funny game. At least it gave me my scent back. But I would have gotten another one, like a fourth one, instead of just getting it back. Which uh, would have been helpful. So anyway, destroying that gives me a uh, extra, an extra, 35% chance that I'll get a double room. Which then is put through our multiplier, but that's not the point. Let's see if we get anything here. We're likely to, but not guaranteed. Yeah. So now we shall indeed check out whatever's here. Boss is quickly approaching. Okay, see, they, they are the kings of chicken. You never know when they will and won't back off. They're crazy. They'll do. They'll just do it. Okay, calm yourselves. All right, so we have another scent, but I'm not in a hurry. I don't need to worry about that. Oh, carrion queen, that sucks. Okay, though. Oops. Yeah, I knew you'd go that way. Okay, we're already into the diagonal. That's good news. Awesome. We get a range up, which is pretty much a damage up. And we have our Devil Room, which contains... If I were to only take one, it would be Brimstone. And uh, if I had Invincibility, I'd just take both. But there's no way it's worth all of my health for both of them. All of my health except a half Soul Heart. And I'm not really tempted to take either of them. So yeah, destroying the beggar helped. By the way, only one beggar matters, and it's only for the floor. So you'd have to kill one each floor if you wanted to keep that chance going. And that's that. People are telling me that uh, the skull game also counts as a beggar. And I understand um, why that might be the case. Okay, I'm actually going to kill this one. I could have used uh, the Anarchist Cookbook. Wow. Uh, but I've never seen, like, the evidence of it, so I'd have to test it and all that. I know a lot of you are probably just going to say, yeah, it definitely does. And uh, that's cool. I just want, like, hard evidence, mostly. Which I haven't sought out in the past, so, you know. Okay, up and over, and then away we go. Seriously, though, all the books we've gotten have been not this, the one I want. <laughs> Alright, so the game's going to do its freezy thing. Hopefully we don't get Curse of Labyrinth. That'd be really unfortunate. Like I said, that'd be really unfortunate. Thank goodness that didn't happen. Oh, well. Okay, so these do not have bombs. They don't get me free keys here. I'll get one of them, but I do need at least one bomb for now. And yeah, Anarchist Cookbook is an option that I didn't think of initially, but now I don't really care to do it for one. We might have another bomb saving use of it soon. I mean, then again, I'm going to get another charge for it before too long anyway. Do I have enough range? No, oh, just barely not. That's okay. Oh, that golden key is beautiful. Infinite keys for the floor, and we've only just begun the floor, so it's really going to be as helpful as possible. Golden chests, please. I would love as many of those as exist in the whole of the universe. If I got a golden chest every room, I would be a happy, happy man. Come at me, leaper. Alright, I don't remember what pill that was, because I think that's one of the two I saw. But if it is, that leaves it as either Pretty Fly or Tears Up, so it's sad that I can't get it either way. Of course, if I had Flight, I could get it, but uh, that definitely wasn't worth three Soul Hearts when I had six and a half. Dang it, you changed direction in a time when you were not expected to. Can you stop? Jerk. 
All right. We could have an arcade here, but using it to increase our Devil Room chance actually would be a bad plan because we're less likely to get it at all due to the mom fight have, making us have to leave. So that's unfortunate. And then it's just... Um, okay, so let's do this. Ah, I decided too late, and then it wasn't, uh, they weren't in the right position, so I lost a soul heart for nothing. I actually think I might have lost it no matter what, because of where those all went. So I don't feel that bad, just a little bit bad. You would shoot anyway. Alright, that's not helpful. Golden chest does appeal to me, though. I did say give me a golden chest every room, and uh, who would I be to not go for that one in a moment when I have the Anarchist Cookbook charged and available? This room is a far more valuable use of my actual bomb, considering that I can guarantee myself a soul heart that I kind of need. And uh, then the Anarchist Cookbook literally can't fail me in, the, in this room over here. There is no possible way that it will not get me in there. Tammy's head. Anarchist Cookbook has treated me very well. I'm going to stick with it. But maybe I'll skip it, or I'll take the Tammy's head. I'll ditch the cookbook after this floor. Maybe, uh, you know. That's a possibility. This is a very questionable run, by the way. It's not at all in a place where I could say I have a good chance of winning, but it's also in a place where I, I can say we're doing reasonably well. So I, I don't know. I don't know where we are in reality. By the way, I still haven't found an item room until this very moment. Pretty wild. Yeah, yeah, always. Peeper, I skip because it pushes bombs and it's just rarely doing damage. I don't think it's that good. It's alright, it's just not that good. And push one too many bombs, so I stopped taking it because it was a jerk for the last time. In general, probably worth having. I just don't care. Colors, colors everywhere. Colors everywhere. All right. I don't expect the boss to be nearby. I have no bombs. And it's not worth using the Anarchist Cookbook for that, because chances are it would just backfire and make it impossible to get to that. Also, chances are that Greed is in the shop. Greed is almost always in an XL floor shop, but that's not a rule. It's just that usually there doesn't seem to be... Yeah, you know, this is worth it. This should hopefully... You know, that was reasonable. It cleared out the room a lot and makes it so that I can actually deal with things pretty uh, pretty adequately. Alright. And I get this Fool card, which lets me have the chance to go to the Devil Room if I happen to earn it, and then it happens to stay after the uh, mom fight. So that's pretty cool. I'm totally able to dig that. Still would love to find the second item room. I know this pill. Okay, okay. It's good. It's helpful, it just doesn't really matter. Oh, gosh. Actually, it might not even be helpful anymore. I don't know if I'm at max tiers, which is it's entirely possible I am. Okay, so everything is ready to go to the ooze state. Which just means I need to focus fire a little bit. And that was good. Keys are also good. Uh, okay, so... Anarchist Cookbook. Oh, that sucks. Okay. I think this is good. Suck it, game. You thought you had me? You didn't. Alright. So if you needed to be impressed, that should do it. Okay, with one bomb, nah, I don't care to get that. 
I do care to get this um, golden chest, though. Because this could make me want to go to the shop here. Even though it's likely green. Yeah, okay, so now it's worth it to at least check. Yeah, because there's... Okay, on an XL uh, floor, never can there have been greed on the previous floor, so that's always open. Greed can still be in the secret room and there can still be a mini boss. These things just seem to rarely happen, the mini boss especially because it's rare that there are uh, empty end rooms or many end rooms at all. I mean, yeah, there's an empty end room right up there on the top left. For whatever reason, those never, uh, you know, those never do a thing. I don't know why. It's just empty end rooms just are inexplicable sometimes. Okay. Boom, and that's that. Another room that could have been a mini boss and wasn't for no reason. So it has nothing to do with the top secret room, which is just weird. So let's see what's over here. I mean, the boss is bound to be over here, the second item room is bound to be over here, I just don't know where exactly. So let's finish this, uh, this adventure. The moon, more functional, honestly, than uh, the fool, which actually means that I should use the fool for the mom fight and uh, keep the moon for the future. Speed up, why not? Okay, so there are the bosses. We do have two. That was dumb. Stay away from the stuff, though. Second item room is Scapula. That's actually incredibly good as Blue Baby. It makes it so that if we would die, we gain a soul heart instead, and uh, it's pretty helpful. I don't know if it saves us from a deal with the devil that would kill us. I think it might, but I don't know. I can imagine that it would, but I also can imagine that it wouldn't. Okay, never mind what I said before. Oh, oh, finally. Okay, so, wow, that was actually, like, the closest possible spawn to the item rooms and bosses. And then I just didn't, didn't find them until the very end. Base left, you know? So Skeleton Key gives us 99 keys, and that's quite nice. We are going to get a second cube of meat here, which is a little unfortunate. It becomes a familiar that will now uh, shoot along with us, but still do all the other stuff that this one's doing alone. You know, it's okay, but it's more tears on Isaac and Blue Baby. And uh, I'd rather have gotten a normal boss item for sure. There's literally no question about that. I can't believe I messed up that dodge. But I just take it, because it's what I'd do for whatever reason. A relic of my old strategy, perhaps. Alright. I just kind of need this keeper dead. Okay, this is not good. The blue mom fight is the worst, mostly just because it spawns really annoying jerks of enemies. Like I said, really annoying jerks of enemies. Wrath of the Lamb enemies are just not fun. There, yep, can't, can't say there. I mean, it does, that still allows me a little bit of brief protection from the uh, swift justice of the foot, but it's not a lot. Okay, so we use this. Now we have the Polaroid, which means we can use fire to uh, damage ourselves and then get invincibility so we can steal deals with the devil. It's unlikely to matter, but it is there. It is a possibility. No longer is it worth a bomb to get that key because I have 99 of them. So that's cool. I'll be opening all the things that I possibly can. And now let's hope for this deal with the devil. An angel room. Sacred Heart. Wow.
whatever. Whatever. You know, that happened. Let's go and hope we don't die. It's been a while since I've had a high fire rate Sacred Heart run, so that's always really nice. I mean, I had a decent one in that last breaking episode, but like, I'm not in a good place. Sacred Heart, by the way, 2.3 times damage multiplier. Uh, shot speed down, the only shot speed down in the game. Fire rate down by a bit, range up, uh, full health, a soul heart. I'm not sure the full heart, or the full health works for Blue Baby, though. I'm not sure. I kind of think it doesn't. Uh, it's homing, if I didn't already say that. You know, uh... I'm not confident in our ability to win, in my ability to win. I really needed that to be balls of steel, to be totally honest. Because I think I'm going to die, and th that Sacred Heart was just a little bit late. But having a high fire rate with this crazy damage, times 2.3 and then plus 1, really good. I need as many soul hearts as the game can possibly offer me if I want to have a chance here. This is quite worrisome. But it does help with Lump of Coal, because like I said, shot speed down is good for that. And as long as we have the range to make up for it, which I believe it gives. So we should be alright, hopefully. I do need a bit more tears up now to make up for the 0.4 tears down it gave. Which is, uh, not too bad. Um, I think that any of the Hills or any items would make up for it, at minimum. But we are still firing quickly, which is good. Lump of coal is obviously a little less noticeable with it. But we're in good shape, sort of. We're also in terrible shape. Not really, just sort of. And I have a very low amount of confidence in this run much as I want it to work, and I will do my best to make it so. Now this is a time when I wish I had taken Book of Revelations just so that I would uh, be more alive and able to keep this, but at the same time it's far more interesting when I have a difficult run. Which Book of Revelations I don't think makes. So we're going to get a third level keep of meat here, unfortunately. I'm going to ignore that, unless I autopilot straight into it like I sometimes do. Wait, that thing didn't die. That's weird. Oh no. Why does it have to be a selfless knight? Why has it gotta be that way? Okay. We'll make it through. There we go. Can't get that coin, it's not worth a chance. No devil room, sadly. I would have taken whatever very easily. Pact would have been enough tears up to uh compensate us and then damage up would have profited health from that mark would have made it worth it health wise more damage as well which is a big deal I would have liked a lot of things from that uh, devil room that didn't happen you best believe that I'm going to cathedral by the way all right good we made it through that one way I need you to give me something particularly good. Emperor is probably going to get used immediately on the next floor. Alright, it's time. It's time that we move to Spider Butt. The greatest upgrade in the history of upgraded spacebar items. That'll slow all the enemies in the room and do 20 damage to them. That helps against Isaac and Blue Baby though because it slows down the tears. So it's not actually that bad, it's just not great. There we go. My damage output is no longer a big problem. Balls of steel. Bombs are key. No! No! How could you, you monster? That's like the thing that I didn't want to see. Okay, so this room sucks. And like, I would consider using my Emperor card to get out of it. But... I, I'm a man. Could have used Spider Button, that would have helped actually on any one of the charges, it would have just stopped them. So that's uh, something I could have and maybe should have done. 
I need, I need another pill now. Of course it's a fortune teller this time. The one time I want pills from it. Tick is a great trinket that I really can't take. Okay, so I'm gonna blow this dude up. And no, if I get a devil room, that's not evidence at all. Blue Baby is the worst character to test that as. So, I'm playing this for soul hearts and not the tick. If I can avoid the tick, I'm a happy man. Okay, what is this? The Joker? Oh no, I'm gonna have to take that instead of the Emperor. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to take that over the Emperor. Okay, but I did get a little bit of health there, so that's good. That made up for everything that could have possibly gone wrong in my whole life, ever. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, that's good. And this way should be the boss. Excellent. I'm just going to use the Cuban meat for the rest of this. Makes the most sense. I mean, I still have a fair amount of keys. I just wanted to have 99. But at least I can use all the bombs in the world for this. Good damage output. Always welcome. Monstro is dead. Shortly we will have repeated bombs. And by shortly, I mean immediately that very moment. That was unfortunate damage. Uh, Angel Room is worthless, but what it isn't is worthless if there's a tinted rock in it. Rock behind the statue? Not today. I'm still questioning its possibility. Okay, so here's the Joker. Get the Miter, that's good. It's just that I really wanted a Devil Room. With all these bombs, there's no reason not to check. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it really would have been nice to get a double room with the pact and the mark in it, like both of them. But, you know, the miter makes it so that non-specific heart drops are more likely to be soul heart drops, and that's really helpful. We have a greater than 50% chance for that now. So I just love to see a lot of non-specific heart drops in my life, and then maybe I can turn this into a very winnable run rather than just a very questionably winnable run. Yeah, coin's not quite a heart. <laughs> nope. Okay, it does two. There we go. There we go. And yeah, I'm just going for it. Oh, dang it. I did it at just, like, just barely late. I'm not sure if I can win this. I'm really not. I do have a high fire rate. I only have two orbitals. Damage is my only saving grace. It's, uh, it's coming down to it. We should get a soul heart for this. Oh, come on. That was so unlikely. Oh, this is gonna, I'm going to lose with Sacred Heart, and it's going to be really sad. I'm going to take all of these items. Mini Mush for the range up. Rainbow Baby for the slowing tears. Mr. Mega because there's no reason not to. Boom because there's no real reason not to. Uh, although it would have been smart for one reason to save Boom until uh, I used enough bombs that it was useful. It's also good not to save it because it's, um, come on, do it. Oh, garbage. Uh, because it's in the pool twice, so it could actually be important to get it out. If I oh my god, this room is my death. This room is my death. Okay, so far not my death. Going to wait on that pill. Question marks balls of steel. No. At least it wasn't bad. <laughs> I mean, at least there's that, right? Okay, I need to kill Gluttony last because it could drop two soul hearts for me. Two whole soul hearts, and then I just took damage. One soul heart, so we went even, which is something, I guess. Super Wrath is very doable in an open room with Sacred Heart. 
Okay, I want to kill one of them if possible. I killed one of them if possible. I don't need any bombs at the moment. Oh, man. I mean, at least if we kill one... Also, not, they don't go into the diagonal state, I don't believe, and um, if we kill one, the second one will start spawning the hearts that do damage to the boss's health if killed. Oh, man, that was unfortunate. That one I can blame on not being accustomed to my speed quite yet. Oh, my God. When did I take damage again? I don't even know how I did that. They don't spawn AIDS poop. I don't even know how I did that. I'm gonna die. Oof. Why'd you turn this way? You never turn this way. That should do it. Come on. Soul heart. Okay. Oh my god. Have you ever a hopeless run like this? This is a run I don't want to be hopeless. I kind of thought that would happen, but um, I'm also not gonna... Oh my god, that was so scary. I wasn't going to use, and I'm still not going to use, uh, Crack the Sky because I want to make sure Gluttony dies last. For them soul hearts, Emperor, Hanged Man, Flight for a Room. Chances are it's worthless, but if we get a Super Lust Room, that's definitely my first, uh, first plan of action. Okay. When it hits, it wrecks. Sadly, I took damage there that I really can't afford to take. The more gluttony rooms, the better, because those are consistent sources of soul hearts, for the most part. Oh no. You know, I was trying to be in a place where I didn't have to move, but I could still dodge all of the shots in every direction from every Loki. I think this is it, though. This is totally not it. I'm really fast, so I can stay out of the way of the chubs, at least. Okay. No heart. We're done. We're so done. This room's possible. Okay, you need to die really, really quickly. Give me a heart. No. <laughs> Oh, randomness, you are just not good. Scapular. Scapular. Scapular, I love you. Because I was like, oh, I'm dead. Now I'm currently not dead, but I will be shortly. But every room I do have that extra hit, which uh, is only the blue baby fight now. Oh, that's clutch. Okay. Okay, uh, Crack This Guy is worthless in this fight, by the way, and I don't know if I had a charge for Spider Butt, so it might have been smart to go back for it, but oh well. Uh, Crack This Guy can't even hit Blue Baby, though. Since it's one of Blue Baby's attacks, I guess I use this, but it's worthless. It doesn't do anything to help me. It doesn't, like, reduce my friction or anything, because that's not a thing in this game. Okay. I win! I didn't even use scapular. That was the wildest, closest Sacred Heart run I've had. No, I think I've died with Sacred Heart before, but still like, wow. That was, uh, that was quite good. I hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.